Wearing your ice plugs. You're in your ice plugs. Hello, everyone that's on. Can you uh, unmute yourself and just say something really quick? Something really quick. I'm here. Hello, this is Aaron. Steve. Hello, Aaron, Steve. Hi, everyone. Uh, Mike Fencer's there. I think he might have stepped away. OK, so Teams Live is up and running. Um, so whenever chair gets here and everyone else does, we'll be ready to go.
Okay, Craig, uh, we're a few minutes into 2.30. Do we want to go ahead and get started or wait? Well, we don't have business items, but do we know our chair is on? I don't know his number. Is that the bottom number there? 3507613? I'm not sure. If that person who called on the phone could speak and let us know who you are, that would be helpful. Actually, that number ended in 13. That's me, Brian Looney. Mr. Looney. OK. Hello, hello. So I think we should still wait for our chair. OK, since the he's the one leading 6A. Yeah, that's OK. So we'll give it a few more minutes and then um, I guess if he doesn't show up, we'll just kind of get started and maybe skip 6A until he comes on or just postpone it until the next meeting. So OK.
Okay, so I sent out a follow up email to remind people and gave them a few more minutes. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um, as Craig said, we have no agenda, item, uh, no business items, so we won't have any voting or anything that needs to happen today. Um, so I guess we'll just do, uh, do we even need to do the call to order roll call, Craig? Well, we don't have a quorum, so we should just uh, we'll just run through it without that. OK, sounds good. Uh, do you can you do the public announcement involvement announcement, Craig, please? Uh, sure. Um, <laughs> AMAT's committee meetings are open to the public. I can't remember if this is our first uh, CAC um, virtual like this or not, but uh, we are doing the uh, the process uh, obviously electronically. We Aaron has the teams live going on, so members of the committee uh, have dialed in with this uh, Teams uh, program that we're using right here, Microsoft Teams, and then the members of the public that want to listen in are able to do so via Teams Live and pose questions in the chat that way. We've been running our policy uh, and technical committee meetings that way, and it's worked fairly well. Um, so if we had a business item, we'd have presentation by staff or the uh, uh, consultants, and then the committee will be given a chance to discuss it. And then after that, the public will be invited to comment. So there's a little bit of a lag. So we will always, depending on whether or not we have people that are actually on Teams Live listening in, we would uh, give them the opportunity to comment. So Aaron, do we have anybody on Teams Live right now listening? Uh, we do have a few people. It's hard for me to tell exactly who it is, but we do have two guests right now. Okay. So. All right. And we just had Mr. Bustamante join us. So I believe we have one, two, I think we have six people. One, two, three. Oh, four, we have five people. Five? Yeah, we have five. Okay, so we have five members. So we're still one short of a quorum, but we'll go ahead and get started with our uh, items that we have anyway. OK, so um, we have no minutes. We have no action items. Uh, pro uh, 6A is project and plan updates. Um, the chair, uh, Matt Brookshank, wanted to have this uh, on the agenda because he wanted to give an update to the committee members about where this EL is at right now. Um, so as he's not on, I don't have the ability to give the update because I don't have any info on it. So I don't know if anyone else has any information on this particular item or not. If not, we'll just move to 6B. Say, Craig? Yes, sir. Or, or actually, Aaron, this is Steve Horn. It shows me as a guest. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I'm you in are on the meeting. You are a member. OK, yeah. good. So I'll, just, I'll be still. Don't worry. It shows you as guest because of how Teams is set up because you're outside of our organization. So OK, all right. It's, in other words, I, I have on the meeting minutes, I have you listed as a committee member. Yeah. OK, great. Th yeah, thank so you. you're 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 just not a member of the municipal municipal workforce at the moment. <laughs> OK, this is my first Teams meeting, so I'm figuring it out. Thank you Got it. for you. Um, OK, so let's just go ahead and move on to 6B uh, and that'll be me. Just a quick update. 
So as you know, the 2040 MTP Anchorage's long range plan was approved earlier this year. And so what that means is we are moving on to the next update, the 2050 MTP. At this point, I don't really have too much information for you all. I just wanted to give you a heads up that um, we are going to be starting that update hopefully in the next few months. And since this committee is a important part of the process, because we have to bring everything we do through you for your review, um, I just wanted to make sure to give you guys a heads up to be on the lookout for that. And when we actually start that plan, uh, there'll be more information coming out. So don't think it, it's not going to be a last minute drop on you guys, but I'm just giving you a very early heads up that it is starting soon. So um, any questions on that? Perfect. And just as a quick reminder, if any of you haven't, please go to the AMATS website where you can review the 2040 MTP so you can get an idea of kind of what it is, what it does, you know, what kind of the process is, because it's a pretty lengthy four year long process. So. OK, next thing, uh, next and last thing really is the general information. Um, staff changes. So um, recently I was given an opportunity to apply and move into a different position here at AMATS. So my focus is going to be moving away from the public involvement side of things to the MTP as my sole focus, really, with some other things mattered in as needed. So I will no longer be staff member to the Citizens Advisory Committee. Um, that honor and distinction is going to Christine Schutte, um, who we are very glad to have coming on board starting in November. So she is on the call right now. So I don't know if Christine, you want to say anything or if anyone has any questions. Sure, I can say a couple of things. Um, I think my video works. Um, hi, Christine Schutte. I'm coming from the municipality. I currently work for public transportation as a transit planner, so I'm excited for this new opportunity to be um, to a planner for public involvement for months. I look forward to working with you guys. So this is Craig. I'll just uh, to her own horn just for a little bit since she's uh, not going to do that. Uh, if anyone has seen some of the stuff coming out of our public transportation department like transit on the move and some of the graphic uh, graphics and some of the uh, report cards that they sent out recently, a lot of that effort was done by Christine. She's obviously got a lot of uh, background in that. She's got a, a, a lot of background also in GIS kind of stuff, which is the way of the world these days. So we're expecting uh, and uh, and pretty darn sure that we're going to get great things out of her to uh, not that we didn't get great things out of Aaron, obviously. So that's why he's still around here, but uh, great things out of her related to public involvement. And she, as Aaron said, will be staffing the Citizens Advisory Committee. Um, it is a all hands on deck sort of thing for public involvement here since it's so important. Uh, but Christine will be uh, our our team leader on that for all the public involvement activities that we have. So we're very, very grateful to uh, have the ability to steal her away from transit. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. So I'll still keep working with Christine um, if she needs any help for uh, CAC stuff. And the CAC members will still continue to see me from time to time, uh, especially as MTP stuff picks up or if I bring other documents I want you guys to look at. So um, you are not quite finished with me yet, but uh, I am grateful for the opportunity to move into the MTP stuff is um, it's going to be very exciting. So that's all I had for that item. Anyone else have anything they want to add? Okie dokie. So um, do any members of the committee have comments that they want to make? These are general comments or anything else. Hey, Aaron, this is John Scudder. Yes. I uh, saw an announcement about a transportation fair. Do you know anything, do you know anything about that? I, I, this is Craig. So I just got the announcement. Uh, the transportation fair had happened in uh, kind of the February time frame the past several years. Uh, it's been held at uh, the Alaska Airlines Arena here at UAA, and uh, you know it was basically an opportunity to one-stop shopping for every uh, possible uh, transportation-related project. Uh, also included, we had a couple tables, transit 
uh, had a couple tables there. Bike Anchorage had tables. Um, this is, uh, they had been moving it to uh, the fall time frame. Uh, this is, we just got it and it's going to be an online transportation fair. I have no idea what that entails. Um, so it's, it's brand new. Uh, I just got it within the last hour. Uh, I know that it's Wednesday, November 18th. Uh, between 4 and 7 p.m., but I don't know exactly how it's going to work. Um, if we find out more information, we'll certainly share that with you. It looks like James from DOT has his hand up, so I'm sure he has more information if he wants to share. There we go. You are on mute, Mr. Starzak. You're saying wonderful things about the transportation fair. Let's see if he is chatting. No, nothing yet. Well, he has his hand. Sorry, up. I'm just, I'm go. just, I'm just frantically clicking buttons over here. <laughs> uh, He's away. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's it's a really interesting, uh, it's a really interesting format. They did this out in uh, the Matt Sue. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, from what I heard, it was uh, was fairly successful. Um, but basically, the, there will be a website that has kind of what's called booths, and it's grouped for project north of Tudor, south of Tudor, south of Anchorage Bowl. Um, and then within those booths, there'll be you know there'll be twenty different projects. Uh, that you'll be able to uh, get information on. Um, it will be. It, it'll be it'll, it'll it'll be interesting. Um, it's it's kind of a. Um, it's a learning experience for everybody, but for, like I said, uh, I think the the Matt Sue fair went fairly smoothly. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this shakes out for us on November 18th. Um, the, uh, I'm not sure. That, I'm, I'm, I would imagine any notice you got has the has the link to the website. Uh, I believe. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. It's uh, publicinput.com slash Anchorage Transportation Fair. That's us. Yeah, so uh, I know can go there. You can go there now and see kind of how the how it's going to be formatted and um, and then it will be live on uh, the 18th. Uh, this is this is conference season around the United States. And so uh, I know uh, the Association of Public Transportation Organizations or Association was last week, APTA, um, and uh, the Association of Metropolitan Planning Organizations, which AMATS is, is this week. So um, we're just starting to uh, understand or explore how virtual conferences are held. So, uh, you know, the Anchor Transportation Fair will be something similar, I'm sure. Uh, and there will be bugs and there will be hiccups, but it will overall be probably a very good event. Uh, I know in years past, the transportation fair has been super valuable, so I would strongly suggest it. And I will send around uh, the email that I got to uh, to the committee so you can check into it as well. Hey, Craig, I was thinking of sending out a uh, email blast from AMATS with all the information in there if you want to hold off. Certainly, sir. So we don't have to inundate everyone in possible. So, OK, thank you all. Um, so Brian Looney, I see you're on. Wondering if you have a moment to speak on the changes coming for you. Uh, sure, yeah, this is Brian Looney. Um, so essentially, um, I'm going to be stepping away from the Planning Zoning Commission. And, and so my seat on this AMAT CFC is uh, is representing that uh, the PZC. So um, we haven't figured out who's going to take my place on both the PZC or this AMATS committee, but um, change is coming. How's that? So, and actually, I'm not all the way off the PZC. I'll probably be there for a couple more months, just that it takes a while to transition. And um, we'll see what happens. 
Well, thank you very much. Um, well, our next CAC meeting is in for a while, so um, that's good. So um, uh, I just want to thank you for all your efforts on this committee. It was a joy working with you. So I hope whatever you're moving on to next is as as much fun. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Maybe it's out there skiing and riding and biking or something like that. We'll see what happens, kind of thing. But uh, uh, um, but yes, it's been great, rewarding on this side too. But um, we're just moving on. Good for you. Okay. Does anyone else have any comments or questions for the committee? Um, okay. So uh, public comments. I asked, and it looks like nobody on Teams Live has any public comments. Um, so at that point, I believe we are done unless anyone has anything else. OK, well, thank you all very much for the meeting. Sorry it was really quick, but I like to keep having these meetings if we don't even if we don't have any business items just to keep us on schedule. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments about anything, please don't hesitate to send them over to me and we'll probably send out an email when Christine starts so you have her information, her contact information. OK, All right, thanks, everybody. Day, everyone. Thanks, everyone.